how to get high ticket coaching clients. If you're thinking about adding a high ticket offer and wondering where the clients are going to come from, or maybe you're already selling a high ticket offer and you're struggling to get more clients, then watch this video because in it I'm going to dispel some of the big myths that I see around high ticket and get you connected with where you need to focus in order to start getting high ticket coaching clients. So first and foremost, who am I to talk to you about this? I'm Bernadette Doyle. I've been teaching people how to get clients for 25 years and I've really focused on high ticket for about the last 10. And in this, one of the big things that I've seen stop people from adding a high ticket offer is this question, Bernadette, where am I gonna get these clients? And it's an interesting question because behind it is almost like the presupposition that um, these high ticket coaching clients are like this special breed of people, that they live in a certain place, that they're like little magical unicorns, and that if we could only just go and find the, the bush that they're hiding under, then everything would be right. But in reality, it doesn't work like that at all. So let me explain why. Selling high ticket coaching is no different from any other sale. And if you think about why do people buy anything, they pay because the cost of what is being offered, the solution, is um, less than the pain of the current um, conditional situation they have. That's why people buy, because they have a problem that, um, that they want to make go away, or they have a goal that they want to achieve, and the offer and the cost of um, achieving that goal or making that problem go away is less than um, the, the pain they're currently experiencing. Now, th what I just said is really, really important because it, when you really grasp this, you will understand that in that instance, the price point that you're selling at is actually irrelevant. What matters is your ability to demonstrate value at this, this price point. So um, when you understand that, it helps you to see that what the first part of this is making sure that you've got an offer that is worthy of a high ticket. Uh, price point. So that means that you need to understand what is the um, solution that your potential clients desire that they would pay almost anything to get. Now, people want to skip over this step, and I understand why, because you have to engage your brain, you have to think, that hurts a little bit sometimes, but it's so worth doing, because it's through asking that question that you're going to uncover something that's truly irresistible to your target clients. And it also shows that High ticket doesn't have to relate to business coaching. I think this is another myth that people think you can only, you know, charge high ticket if you're offering something that makes money. And I have clients working in lots of different niches, dating, spirituality, and, and, and I've helped many of them to add high tickets, offers, um, 2,000, 10,000, one dating coach, even a $50,000 offer. So it's not about, oh, who are the people who are able to pay that price? Like the ability to pay is not determined by someone's bank balance. It's determined by how much they they value what's on offer. And I'm sure you can think of situations in your own life where um, you needed something or you wanted something and, and you were really motivated to go find the money to get that thing. Um, because uh, cause either your need for it was so, maybe you the roof needed repair. <laughs> you knew that you couldn't live like this. So you knew you had to find the money. You go and, You go and do it. So when you understand this, it really helps you to tie in your offer that's really tied to um, to a powerful desire that your clients have. That's really important. I think a huge mistake people make with high ticket is they just think it's about adding zeros to the end of the price point. It's not that. You need to understand what is the desire, what's the solution that, that they would pay almost anything to get. Need some digging, totally worth doing. If you want my help with it, leave a comment below and we can talk about how I can help you with this. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to need, this is probably what brought you to this video, is you're going to need people to make that offer to. So again, this is where people think, well, I had someone ask me recently, she said, where is the Facebook groups where these affluent high figure, um, these high, high ticket buyers are hanging out? It doesn't work like that. But when people are buying because of their desire or their awareness of the problem, it means that you can actually create high ticket buyers. You can create them by helping them to understand just how much their current situation is costing them financially, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. And so that means that how you, the answer to how do you get high ticket clients is you get really great education-based marketing. You get really great at really educating 
and helping someone to understand the the up the true cost of their pain points. So going back to my client, the dating coach, like she was able to command 50,000. Lots of dating coaches can't command anything like that because she truly understood and was able to articulate the real pain that was it was costing her clients to to not have their idol partner. So again, it's not like, oh, the high ticket clients are out there. You need to go find them. You realize you can realize you can create them with the right messaging, with the right understanding. OK, what's the final thing that you're going to need to get high ticket clients? You're going to need and I chose this word carefully, capacity to sell. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean capacity because capacity can be developed. So when I say capacity to sell, I mean, first and foremost, like your skills, your ability to put an offer in front of someone and and, and demonstrate that what you're offering is is um, much greater in value than what it's going to cost them to to pay for it. Like that's that, that's basic selling. That's a basic skill you need. So my thing is, well, if you're going to learn that skill, why not apply it to high ticket, which is a much simpler business model for so many coaches than all of the other alternatives they can uh, consider. So you're going to need the capacity to sell, but capacity to sell also comes into like your beliefs about what you're selling. So you need to believe in the value of what you're selling. You need to believe in your ability to deliver what you're selling. You need to believe in your client's ability to find the the resources to pay for what you're selling. So there's a belief. Now, here's the great thing about belief. It's not fixed. We can grow belief. You can transform belief. In fact, one of the things that happens for my clients and side of my programs is what they're basically increasing their belief capacity, their ability to believe in what they're offering and, and then they get results and it sort of it just goes onwards and onwards. Capacity also relates to like how many clients do you can you handle? So this is something I don't hear many people talk about this, but I've observed it coaching people doing high ticket. And it's like this sort of energetic capacity, like how 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 many clients can you hold the space for at that level? So I'm thinking of a client of mine who was a nutritionist and she sold a five thousand dollar package to a client. But when she was working with him, she was in initially so focused on this client. She's like, you know what? Energetically, I haven't got room for any more clients. So I could talk to her about high ticket as much as she wanted as we wanted. But what she really needed was to develop her capacity to have more clients. Now, that can also be done by how you design your programs. So clearly, like if you have a program which puts you on call 24 seven to a client, then you're you're going to have a capacity on that. Whereas if you streamline your offering and your delivery system so that you're still adding value and having high touch, but not with so, t- so much time demand for you, that's another way you can increase your capacity. Let me know if you're interested in that, because I can do further video content talking about that point if you like. So how do you get high ticket clients to get back to our original question? What I've just shared with you here is, first of all, you need an offer that's high ticket worthy. You need, um, yeah, you need people to sell to. But it's not like they're this rare breed of creatures that are living on some mystical island. You can create them through your messaging and educating and understanding the um, the issues they have and the value of solving that problem. And finally, your capacity to sell. So I hope I've shown you with this that selling high ticket, it really doesn't have to be as difficult as you might think. And, and actually selling high ticket is something that you can do. And if you want to know more about this, then I'll leave a link below to my program, Get Clients Make Money, where not only will I show you how to create that high ticket worthy offer, but I will show you how to do the things I've talked about in this video to really um, connect with and educate people so they want to uh, they want to and willing and able to invest at the high level and also how to develop your capacity to sell it to. So I hope that's helped you. I hope I've inspired you. I think it's a great model. I think this is a really fantastic model for so many people, especially women like me who want to um, have impact in their business, but also want to have enough time um, and, and capacity to be with their family, to have a life. And so it is a great model. And I would hate to think that you've been ruling it out because of any misunderstanding. So that's what I aim to do in this video. And I shall see you very soon. Take care.